So are you someone who's been trying to learn how to do makeup for a while? YouTube University, you've watched all the videos, you have all the product, and yet still when you do your own makeup, you feel like it's not giving, like it's not coming out the way that you want it to. You're not really sure what you're doing wrong. Stick around, because I've been you, and there's a couple of tips that I can give you that can help you to level up on your makeup. So first things first, your makeup application is everything. Your technique is everything. If you're putting product on your brush, or you're putting it on your face and you're swiping it all over the place with your brush or with your sponge, you're not going to get the coverage that you need and it's not going to give what you want it to give. You have to take the brush and learn to pat and press. The majority of the time when you're putting products on your face, that is the technique that you're going to use to get the coverage that you need. Pat and press. Pat and press. And even if it's not about coverage, even if it's just something that you want to go in with just a light, let's say a bronzer or a blush and you just want something light, still want to press it in because you don't want to move the product all around your face. When you place a product on your face or on your brush, you want to place it where you want it on your face and you want it to stay there. So if you're swiping it all over, it's not going to give because the product is just going to be all over the place. You want to be very, very careful about where you're placing your product and where you are taking the product. That takes me to my second tip, which is understanding your face shape and understanding your features because it comes down to placement. That's really what's going to help you to level up as well. You want to understand your eye shape. If you have a hooded eye, your techniques that you use to place your eyeshadow might be different from somebody like me who has a lot of lips. Not saying that one is better than the other, but you do have to understand your eye shape in order to understand the placement of your eyeshadow. The same thing with your face shape. Where you place your bronzer, your blush, um, your highlight is going to be different based on your, on your face shape. Same same thing with contouring your nose. That was a big one for me because I used to watch a lot of videos and see how people contour and the way that my nose is shaped might be very different from somebody else that I'm watching and it's just not going to give if I do it the way that they do it. I have to understand the way that my nose is, is shaped and the look that I'm trying to go for. To number three which is learning how to do your foundation really well and then going on to more advanced techniques. I find that, well, at least when, in my situation, when I started to learn how to do my makeup, I was obsessed with learning how to do a smoky eye and cut creases. To me, that was the fun stuff. So that's what I was focused on. But I still hadn't gotten the basics down, which was my foundation, really learning how to highlight, color correct, contour, bronze. Those are the things that are really going to take you to the next level. Not saying that you can't do your eyeshadow. My tip would be start with the easy stuff with the eyeshadow. Learn how to do a very simple eyeshadow look. Something like this is very simple. It's just a, a um, wing liner. I put a little bronzer in my crease and then I went over my liner at the bottom with some colored liner. It's really like three steps it, and it doesn't require a lot of blending or anything like that. So something like this is very simple. You want me to teach you how to do this? I can. But start with something like this and focus on your face. Focus on color correcting if you have a lot of hyperpigmentation. Focus on shade matching. Focus on highlighting. Focus on blush placement, bronzer placement. And you will see how much of a difference it's going to look on your face. As well as um, eyebrows. Eyebrows are big as well. Figure out what shape you like, how you like your eyebrows to be done. And really focus on that as well. And you will notice the difference. Now number four. And I know this is going to sound all cliche. But listen, don't give up. Keep going. Anytime you have some free time, practice. Even if you have nowhere to go, that is the key to getting better. Even if it's not coming out the way that you, that you want to, keep trying, keep going. You don't get better without practice. So don't get discouraged. Keep watching the videos. Keep trying. Keep trying to figure out what products you like and what products you don't like. And you will get better. If you like content like this, you want to see more of it, please like and subscribe.